We are getting a new look at a historic bridge that's being reconstructed in downtown Sioux Falls. The 8th Street Bridge is more than 100 years old. Workers are removing a granular fill to make way for improvements. In the process, the bridge's arches are now exposed. Kelly Matt Holson has an update on the project. A bird's eye view of the 8th Street Bridge is revealing a site that hasn't been uncovered for many decades. It's nothing I've ever seen before. I've done, I've constructed several bridges. I've, I've rehabbed several, a few bridges, uh, but never seen a bridge like this before. So it's pretty neat. City of Sioux Falls civil engineer and project manager Dina Knutson says the old concrete and granular fill is being removed to make way for a better bridge. So we're going to put a waterproofing membrane over the tops of the arches. Uh, then we're going to put kind of a drain tile system in it. Um, and then we'll fill it actually back up with a granular material again. Looking at the unique exposed arches, it almost looks like something that would be fun to go off-roading on, but all of that will be filled back in and the bridge should be available again this fall. If you're wondering what the elaborate suspension structure above the bridge is, you're not alone. Knutson says it's elevating a CenturyLink line that couldn't be moved during the project and it took a year to design. Thankfully, vehicles should be back on the bridge sooner than that. Thank goodness for an awesome spring and summer we've had so far. We're on schedule and we plan to have traffic back open late this fall. In Sioux Falls, Matt Holson, Kettle Land News. If you'd like to check out the bridge's construction timeline, we have posted a link for you with this story at kettleland.com.